Hey guys, welcome back to another Swiss Scissor 1 video. And today we are back in X-Plane with quite a special plane. Today we're going to talk about the Convair 1990. Now how should I start? Obviously this plane is quite old. It had its first flight in 1961. The manufacturer of this plane was Convair, which was an American manufacturing company for aircraft until it eventually died. Just like this plane, because this plane is considered a failure. And we're going to to talk about why but let's just start first obviously we have four thick engines here and that's a lot of black smoke jesus christ feel the efficiency well, or not efficiency in this case we have no no skier steering that's not good now this plane was not really a regular jet plane especially for that time it had some very big advantages basically it was it was very fast now, after being introduced in 1962, it was already retired in 1987, which was 15 years later. It's not really a long lifespan, and also only 37 of these airliners were built. Only 37, that is really, really not much. Now, let's choose a random airport. Yeah, this, this airport is random enough. Actually, there were some mainstream airlines operating this plane. For example, we had American Airlines. These had some orders of this plane also Swiss Air they used this plane as well now there were some other more unknown airlines using this like Spantax which is now very very dead but yeah no one really bought this plane now obviously the biggest competitor to this plane was the Boeing 707 oh my goodness yeah now we're gonna be perfectly able to take off now, at the time, as an airline, you would have to obviously decide between this plane and the 707. And, well, this plane had some advantages and disadvantages. The 707 was still a better choice than this plane. Now, maybe let's talk about the advantages. Now, as I've already said, this plane is extremely quick, especially for around that time. And, you know, back in the 60s, speed was quite a big factor in aviation for selling airplanes. Quite a big advantage, but that's kind of... It. Now, as you can already tell by the black smoke here, this airliner was not efficient and it had a very, very short range and we have just crashed again. Now, also, it could carry less passengers than the 707. This thing only packed around 88 to 110 passengers. But the main problem of this airliner was its range. And, well, the 707 was just superior to this plane and uh, this plane ended up dying. Now let's try landing. Oh wow, this is some black smoke, whatever. Let's try landing this airliner. We're gonna use this dried lake bed. Kinda sad that we only have a 2D cockpit instead of a 3D cockpit. Flaps are fully down. Damn, these flaps are really sharp. Yes. Ah, that was a moderate landing, I would say. Yeah, that's kind of it. Let's check out that landing though. That yeah, I've seen worse ones, right? Now, let's try using this plane on short runways, whatever. Now, maybe let's talk about safety. Safety is always kind of an important topic. Now, on Wikipedia, the accidents and incidents list is quite long. Alarmingly long, especially since only 38 of this aircraft was built. So, yeah, this aircraft might suck safety-wise, even though pretty much all planes back in the 60s and 50s sucked safety-wise. And... And this Toyota is about to get blown away, quite literally. Now, uh, this thing needs quite a long runway. We're never going to make it. Why am I even doing this? Maybe we might make it. No, no, I can already tell. This thing needs quite a high speed to rotate properly. Let's try to pull up whatever it takes. Did we just make this? Now, some other major carriers of this aircraft were uh, like Cathay Pacific, Garuda Indonesia, and even Alaska Airlines had one of these. And actually, until this date, the 990 is still the fastest non-supersonic commercial transport plane. So it's even faster than the modern airliners. But it still sucked. Yeah, that's basically the thing here. It's it, This plane sucked. <laughs> so yeah, guys, thank you for watching today's video. And I'll see you tomorrow. As always, good night. Oh, tomorrow's Monday. I hate Monday.